Christy says her young daughter not only told her, but showed her how she was being sexually abused by her grandpa, Leroy. Oh. And when Christy was told by doctors that her daughter showed signs of sexual abuse, she wanted to put him behind bars. But according to Leroy, this was all made up over a $250 debt. Wow. Take a look. The type of person that would hurt a child is a sick individual. And, and they really need to be locked up. And if, it, if it's me, I really need to be locked up. And I, I, I ain't exempt. I am not exempt. I haven't seen my granddaughter in over a year. And every time, like she would put her on Facebook dancing around the house. And I, and, I, and I looked at it and I said, shoot. I said, my baby looks so happy. You know what I'm saying? I said, and I miss my little pumpkin. These are my exact words. And she says, she miss you too. And if I hurt my granddaughter, why would she tell me that? My baby, she's uh, lactose tolerant, you know, and she has to take this medicine. Christy is the one that told me to get some Vaseline on because her butt gonna get raw. And that's just exactly what I did. And then I heard this allegation of me, uh, I guess putting it on her private part, but that don't even make sense. I mean, a two-year-old baby, this is what I tried to get her to understand. This is a two-year-old baby. More than that, that's my baby. I think it's all about the money. But like I told her, the money doesn't matter. Only thing matter is my baby. It's not the money. The first thing she says, is, I'm gonna pay your money. And then if, if, if I had, supposedly had done something to my baby, that should have been the first thing she asked me, to get the money. And I think really Crystal made this up. I think she made it up so she wouldn't have to pay me that money. And I also think that she knew that me and my uh, uh, baby was getting real, real tight. You know, we was having that bond. I think she wanted to push me away, maybe because she think she can see my baby having a better life than she did. You know, maybe that's it. I, I don't I don't know. But we're going to get this here solved. We're going to get this solved. We're going to see who's lying. I'm going to prove that I am not the monster that these people claim me to be. I did not whatsoever touch my baby in the wrong manner. Well, Steve, she came to me while me and my mom were sitting in the, the front room and said that her papa touched her. And when she said it to me, she just ran off. And then when she ran off, she came back a couple of seconds later and she laid down in my floor and said, my papa touched me right here with Vaseline because he said it would make me feel better. And yes, my daughter is two years old, but she's, she talks real good for her to be two years old. And that money situation is a lie because he helped me with the money with my car payment way before my daughter had told me about this. And I did tell him I was going to pay him back, but after my daughter had told me about this, that's whenever I immediately called him and told him that we need to talk about this. And immediately he just went left on me, calling me all kind of bees and telling me I wasn't going to be nothing in life and all of this or whatever. Did she specify where he touched her? Yeah, he, he, right. she said... Because, I mean, when I, if a child's saying, oh, they put Vaseline to make me feel better, to me it, it seems kind of common. Like, a lot of parents use Vaseline right. on their kids' backsides and stuff. Right, but she didn't, have, uh, she didn't have a rash. She was potty trained at this time. So you and believe when, that he touched your daughter in yes. a sexual manner? Yes, because my daughter came up to me and told me this, Steve. And um, then for so her to... So after she says this to you and you confront him, do right. you take her to the doctors? Yes, I took her to her doctor. And when I took her to the doctor, she had did a little exam what she could do at the doctor's office and told me that it didn't seem like it was any penetration, but it was red like she had got fondled with. And then she had gave me the number to DHS to call the them. The doctor said that? Yeah, the doc the, literally the doctor said, said that. said there's redness from fondling. Yeah, that it looked like that she got fondled with is what the doctor told me. I called authorities, got on the phone with them, talked to them. They told me not to have her around them and all this or whatever. I didn't. 
the I talked to the DHS a, a worker, and I just I just stayed up with everything with uh, them. Where, what happened with the investigation? I, I guess because it didn't have enough evidence or whatever, they closed the case. And I and after they closed the case or whatever, and I wasn't getting no qu no answers back the way I needed to, I continued to do stuff, and Leroy continued to uh, to harass me on Facebook. Now after your daughter said this happened, you had found out that he had been accused of this twice before. Yes, because my mom had got on the phone and got to calling people and talking to people about uh, what was going on and everything with the, the, the family members that she's close to that's in his family. And they had just let him know that that he had this against him already two different times with girls, little girls. That, that part's a little disturbing. Yeah, right? but if I would have knew that before, Steve, I wouldn't have never right. let her go around this man. Let's meet Leroy. It ain't about that money. It's about that little girl, my baby. After you, my done, baby. After you done harassed us on Facebook, before I, I, I blocked even... you from my page. How did I harass you? When you constantly <laughs> was talking to me about this money, Leroy, oh, really? Well, you know what? I'll be glad when the test get back. Yeah, home, so we'll find yeah out. we show is going to find so out. Because is. you're a liar, and I have no reason mm -hmm. to sit up here and we talk about my baby in this kind of sense, over $250, you... $90 or whatever. Did you molest the little girl? No, sir. And this no is, way. I this love is, my baby. This why would my baby say it this? this you know your, what? Hold on. This mm -hmm. is your biological granddaughter, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and you believe that you're being accused of this because she won't pay you back some money? Yeah. Mm hmm. I, I could have been done paid you back the money. You that. know that. You I know I could have been done paid you back it. that so money. So she went and had her daughter examined mm -hmm. by a doctor. I didn't even know that. But then she had DCFS involved. Yes. I told her to call DHS but I'm and saying, the police. She Before went through, you told me that went, I did it on my own. She went through all this because she doesn't want to pay back 250 bucks. I don't, man. It's yeah, a, that made, I that mean, that's sense the only thing Steve? I could come up with. Do that I don't, make sense I to don't, you? Don't, I don't believe that angle of the story. How long has it been since you've seen your granddaughter? Oh, man, over a year, man. Over a year? Yes. Yeah, because um, yeah. she didn't go back, Steve, after she after she told me of that. Course. I didn't ever take her back over there. Do you think that she coached the girl to say yes. this? Yes. Really Over two hundred and fifty dollars. I mean, I don't That's care stupid. about no money. Have you money, ever been man. accused That's of stupid. molesting a child before? No, sir. No, You've never sir. been accused. No, no. I, it, you find it anywhere on record. It, it should be on record. I'm here to clear my character. Okay. And uh, Renita is your mother. Yes. Let's meet her, Renita. Cool. Cool. You know something? I'm lying over two hundred and fifty dollars, Mama. I don't know you from Adam. Right. At all. I never hung around with you. Right. Right. Family members, yes. You know. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't coach my baby to do crap. Were you mm -hmm. there when the uh, yes, little I girl was. told her mother? Yes, she was. Uh, what we did was, we you, was what playing. Did you, what did you hear? Me and the kids was playing. She was sitting on the other side of the room. My baby said, my, my, my stuff hurt, Grandma. And I said, okay. I said, I said, Christy, did you hear this? Christy said, yeah. She went and got the Vaseline and said, he, he, Papa put it right here. I said, put it right there? Wait a minute, you potty trained. You don't need nothing right there. You heard from somebody that he's been accused of this. Uh, 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 of twice before. <laughs> and who did, uh, did you hear from one of his family members? Yes. 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 Christy, you came here and took a lie detector test. Yes. To prove you're not fabricating yes. this. And we asked you, did you coach your daughter to say, Leroy, touched her private area in a sexual manner? You answered no. Mm -hmm. Did your daughter tell you that Leroy touched her private area? You answered yes. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Christy told the truth. Thank, Thank you! you. Oh, I don't don't she touch me! Did you ever touch your granddaughter's private area for your own sexual gratification or pleasure? He answered no. Did you ever intentionally put Vaseline on your granddaughter's frontal private area? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Leroy told the truth.
say, well, I, I do, mama, because that, that, that's, that's the woman. I'm not apologizing for nothing. That's being grown and apologizing to you. But my baby did come to me and say this. Mm -hmm. She came to me and said it. She so I'm going to believe my baby I'm, I'm over anybody. About is that y'all keep saying Papa and when she ain't never called okay. me Papa? Have you ever okay. heard oh, me call him Daddy? Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't care. Um, <laughs> I do think, you know, as parents, you're acting responsibly. Right. I do think some of the words might have got twisted around. Maybe your daughter said something, and it's perceived as something sexual happening. Okay. Yeah. Because I just think when, you, and listen, I'm the last guy in the world to downplay this type of story because right. and I don't think you did anything wrong. It's nice you apologize because to be accused of something and you didn't do it is right. Is, it's but big. as a parent and especially and I believe you when you say doctor said hey looks like she's been fondled. Well then yeah. you got to go with that. You right. know what I mean? So you, I, I don't think you did anything wrong. But when we talk about kids and Vaseline and rashes I mean it happens right? Right. Like it happens all the time. I do believe the guy, uh, he has a little granddaughter, and kids are fun when they're really small like that. Mm -hmm. And it seems like he really just enjoys being with her, which in your own yeah, words, you said I that. Said, she, Very she, generous with his yeah. time and money. Um, so yes, this is a story that sometimes you have to find out what exactly is the truth. Right. Uh, exactly. But here we have a good ending. Got a responsible mother and a grandmother, and we have a grand father who loves his daughter, or his granddaughter. Yeah. So, um, now the big question is. No. He hasn't seen no. his granddaughter. No. He, hold no. on. I'm talking to the mom. No. I'm talking to the mom. No. Will you allow? No. Him, and I'm not asking. Yeah. I'm no. asking. Are you? No. 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 Well, no. Listen, mom, no. Even though my mom no. feel this way no. or whatever, right. he no. can he can see no. that she have to be in the presence of me. It. Yeah. It right. ain't it ain't fit to be just the time so he can drop. Do you live in the same Do you live in the same city? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you're saying he can come over and spend time while you're there? Yes. I don't no. trust her. I'm trying to put you in a good spot so you can see your granddaughter. Mm. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to like her. Maybe there's bad feelings, there's bad blood. Who cares? No, it was you want to see your granddaughter, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Bad and too. It's nice to have help. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And somebody who's gonna. Buy her some shoes or some clothes or maybe needs. some school supplies right. someday. Right. It's nice needs. to have help, right? Right. Maybe you build the trust back up yeah. where you have a relationship, not for the two of you, but for but the for, baby. For the grand, for your daughter. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. you. Nice I was calling to let you know that it was a good reunion with Grandpa and her. She went with him last weekend and it went just fine and she came back and told me everything was okay. I was just calling you guys to give y'all an update. All right, have a blessed day. Bye.